The Inspector General of Police, IGP Usman al Kali Baba, has congratulated the Nigeria Police Force multi dexterous combat athlete PC Julius Uka following a successful professional training tour and her win against South Africa's Crystal Van Wyck, who until the bout was undefeated in Extreme Fighting Championship EFC 102. IGP Al Kali Baba's congratulatory message was contained in a statement by Force Public Relations Officer Olumuiwa Dejobi. The fight which took place on Thursday, 13th April 2023 in Johannesburg, South Africa, was a three-round bout and Juliet showed all-round superiority to emerge the winner by unanimous decision of 30-26, 30-26 and 30-27. Juliet also went on to defeat Claudia Vochong Shivabo of Cameroon on Saturday 22nd April 2023. PC Juliet is one of two police female MMA fighters recently released by IGP Usman Al Kali Baba for a six-week professional training tour in Thailand. Also, human line judges will be replaced by an electronic calling system on a full-time basis on the ATP tour from 2025. The ATP, which is the men's tennis governing body, said the move will optimize accuracy and consistency in events. Some tournaments have already scraped human line judges, including the majors, the majors at the Australian Open and US Open. The electronic calling system has been widely adopted since the COVID-19 pandemic when tournaments looked to minimize human interaction. It will be implemented across all surfaces on the ATP Tour, although the four Grand Slam tournaments continue to make their own decisions. Wimbledon played on grass and the clay court French Open have been reluctant to remove human judgment. While Wimbledon allows players to challenge decisions using the Hawkeye system, the French Open has so far refused to introduce technology assistance. Also, the Boston Celtics are through to the Eastern Conference playoff semifinals after a thrilling 128 to 120 victory over the Atlanta Hawks. Jalen Brown scored 32 points and Jason Tatum added 30 as the Celtics won the best of seven series 4-2. They will face the Philadelphia 76ers who completed a 4-0 series sweep of the Brooklyn Nets last weekend. The Celtics are the top seeds left in their conference after the Miami Heat's shock win over the Milwaukee Bucks. In a contest featuring 22 lead changes, Trey Young, whose late three-pointer sealed victory for the Hawks in the previous game, scored 30 points with 10 assists. However, just five of those points came in the second half as Atlanta faded as the game wore on. A run of 11 unanswered points in the fourth quarter, including three straight three-pointers from Brown Tatum and Al Horford, saw the Celtics take a grip on the game that proved decisive. Game one of the Celtics semi-final against the 76ers takes place in Boston on Monday. Let's now join our Denis Adjishafe for more on Sports News. The first edition of Abuja International Marathon will take place on Saturday, 29 April 2023 at the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, where 32 international and 120 Nigerian runners will compete for $110,000 in categories of $55,000 for male and female. The marathon race will be in three categories, 5-kilometer student race, 10-kilometer family run, and the 42.195 full marathon race. Traditional dancers were on hand to make the press briefing on the international marathon tick with their various traditional tunes and dancing skills to the admiration of guests. While talking on the benefits of engaging in the marathon race, Wari Efuru Marathon Chief Organizer Joyce Bozimo said marathon is as an enduring race for star peace and harmony among runners with much health benefit to human body. I went into it because I wanted people to live in peace and in harmony, friendship, peaceful coexistence among all ethnic groups. And I think marathon does that. 
The student 5 kilometer race will start from Zone 4 Bridge, while the 10 kilometer family phone race at Wuye Bridge all terminating at Eagle Square. Organizers believe harmonizing sport and tourism will show Nigeria to the world through the race in the FCT as expressed by John Shito. This is a Nigerian project. It's not uh, a state project. So that's why we are appealing to you the media to promote it as a project for all of us. Not just for Unicentral or GLS as the marketing consultant. Yeah, it's for all of us to promote our country. Race director Oluwa Kaode Thomas, while highlighting the Abuja Marathon route and the breakdown of prize money, said it is important to show the beauty of the FCT to the world. What we are trying to do is to showcase the best part of FCT to a global audience. Because if you are just running, you could have just run from a city gate to Gokalanda, but we are taking you through up the most beautiful part of Abuja, the landmark, the National Assembly, the Azo Villa, the National Assembly, Federal Secretariat, Eagle Square, the best part of Abuja. So we want the world to see our city and uh, it is what you know that you see and you want to come and experience. So the essence of this race is to send Abuja to the world. Elite runners from Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia and Bahrain include the 120 elite Nigerian athletes who race for honors at the first Abuja International Marathon. That sport news. I'm Adeniyi Aji Shafe. Thanks to Adeniyi for sport news. Now, before we go, here's a kicker. From cultivating their sporting muscle to reaping the full benefits of extended branding for tourism and business, more African countries are partnering with European football clubs. Malawi is the latest to sign a partnership deal. Take a look. This is a great opportunity for Club Deportivo Leganes to reach out into Africa to develop talent and to develop relationships and to continue to internationalize the brand of Leganes. With our partnership with the uh, Leganese Club, it's going to help us because it's in the plan that at least they should develop uh, a sports complex where we can bring in young talents, where they can be trained, equipped, and then they, they, they should be able to be exposed even into international soccer. So that would help us to a, a, a great deal. It's an honor for Malawi um, to be working with um, Club Deportivo Leganese. The history of Leganese is a fantastic history. You look at 95 years of the club existing. And I think um, if you look at football itself, the Spanish league is heavily regarded across the globe. And this is a great opportunity for Malawi. We're looking forward to spending time in Malawi, looking for and developing young athletes that can someday play on the first team here in Leganese.